Hello all, Andrea here with I Dream of Crafting. Um, today will be a tutorial on how to make a duct tape zippered pouch. Um, it's a great item for back to school. You can store all your pencils and pens and highlighters in here. Um, mine is 9 inches by 6 inches, about. So, um, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty big. It's a you can fit a lot in here. So, um, the supplies you will need are a cutting board, an exacto knife. You may need scissors. Um, you can actually do this whole thing with scissors if you don't want to use an exacto knife. I like exacto knives. So, a ruler, preferably a metal one. Um, duct tape. I use two rolls. You can use one. You can use three. However many you want to do. And then, of course, a zipper. Um, I get my zippers at Walmart. Um, in Ohio, they are a dollar forty-seven, and I believe that is with tax. Without tax, I think it's like a dollar thirty-nine or something like that. So it's not bad. Um, these are not the metal ones, though. The metal ones are like two fifty or something like that. I don't think they look all that great, though, because the metal ones don't come in all these cool colors. So. Um, yeah, they come in different lengths. Um, the smallest I've seen is 7 inches. The largest I've seen I think was like 22 inches. So I get the 7 inches. Um, yeah, they, it's 7 inches, 9 inches, 14 inches, and then I think 22. Um, there may be like 19 or something, but I think 7 inches is good. You know, I mean, it makes a pretty big pouch, as you know, uh, as you can see. The pouch is 9 inches, so if you get a 9 inch one, you're going to make a pouch that's 11 inches. That's a bit, you know, that's a big pouch. So, um, the 7 inches is actually just from this stopper over here all the way to the, um, the pool. That's the 7 inches. Then you have these little tabs on the side um, that are used for sewing them into a garment, but we will use them as well in this application. So, um, that, that's where the extra two inches comes in um, to make the pouch nine inches. So, um, but you can get any s zipper you want. The process I'm going to show you in this tutorial is going to be the exact same no matter what kind or size of zipper you get. So, that um, those are all the supplies you will need, so let's get started. Okay, so, um, I was in the middle of making this tutorial and it screwed up, so I'm going to try this again. Um, I've already placed one side of the tape on, uh, the, the zipper. Um, as you can see, I, um, have gone about a quarter of an inch down on the, uh, fabric. You don't want to get too close to the teeth, and you definitely want to leave enough room for your zipper pull so that it can open and close freely. And over here I have three strips that are 9 inches long. Um, that is for building the, the pouch itself. But I am going to cut out a, another piece of 9 inch tape so I can finish off this, uh, this zipper. So you want to um, start it off, to start off your pouch, and <coughs> you want two pieces of tape that are 9 inches long, and I'm going to show you how to do this part. So there is 9 inches. Um, as I said, you want to go about a quarter of an inch down. So, and you see, you know, especially over here, it flares out. That's okay. I'm going to show you how to deal with that. So, you want to go a quarter of an inch down. That's about where this valley is over here on this fab, the end of this fabric. I'm actually not looking at the lines on my board. I'm just eyeballing it. Um, as you do these more and more, you'll you'll know where you know how close you can get so you see I have it mostly straight but you can't really get it straight over here without unzipping this first 
and then you can peel up your tape and straighten your fabric out and lay it down again that's pretty good I'm gonna get this piece right here closer because it's a little it's a little shy so I want to I want to get it just a little bit closer you also want to make sure that both sides are pretty much the same you know pretty much equal in distance from the zipper teeth to the duct tape so that's about good that's about a quarter of an inch um, every time you place you know tape on your zipper you want to just run it a couple times to make sure it's clear now you just don't want to grab this and rip it up because this tape will come off um, as you might have noticed I don't use any t glue hot glue staples um, I really don't think it's necessary once you have the whole thing made it is very um, sturdy as you can see um, I can pull on this and it's not going anywhere because this is supporting all of this so it's not you know I can you know I can don't I can do that as fast as I want and nothing comes loose so I really don't think the glue is necessary plus I've had problems with the glue um, interfering with the zipper um, the teeth even if I don't get it close to the teeth I think the glue saturates the fabric and it kind of pulls the fabric and warps the fabric in such a way that it um, up, that it obstructs the track so um, be just be very careful pulling up your duct tape just make sure you're get, you have a good hold on both the tape and the fabric as you pull this up and then flip it over and you have some tape left on either side which is good because you can line up your tape with that on the um, outs on the other side and then you can get this straight when you get about halfway through you want to take your zipper and carefully unzip it just a little bit you know about halfway so that this side will now lay flat for you there we go and then when it lays flat for you just line it up and smooth it out if you have any air bubbles I have a couple here down by the end here just poke it with your exacto knife try and uh, you know squeeze them out but if they don't want to squeeze out just poke them poke them pop them and then smooth them out and there you go make sure it runs free because even at this point you can just tear this off and redo it but that looks pretty good so now you want to cut I already have mine done you want to cut three strips of tape that are nine inches long and we're going to attach this these this tape to um, this duct tape right here you want to overlap by a quarter of an inch and this is also where you would line up your tape while cutting um, I don't think there is a way to line up the pickle tape if I'm wrong please let me know if there's a video showing how to do it please link it in the um, in a comment um, below I would love to know that also um, if there the flamingo tape also gives me problems I don't think there is a way to line up the flamingo tape if I'm wrong please let me know so just put this on here a quarter of an inch uh, once again watch when you pull this up because even at this point this will pull up um, until you get until you secure your sides up here this will pull off so be very careful when pulling it up I like to put my tape on an inch line every single time so I know I'm getting a quarter of an inch every single time You don't need to get your um, sides perfect because we will be we will be trimming the sides before we put the trim on. Because as you can, can you see? 
pretty much yeah um you can see on this side and this side i have some overlap so we're going to trim all that up so you will have the opportunity huh. you will have the opportunity to trim up the size before you finish your um your pouch so you don't have to move it like I am. I just like to make sure I have a quarter inch all the way down. Make sure not to get any wrinkles. All right, so there are three pieces. This is gonna give you, this is gonna give you a um, six inch width on your pouch. So take your trim color or whatever is going to be your inside color and you want once again three strips that are nine inches long Now that you have your three strips of your inside color that are nine inches long, we're just going to completely cover um, all the sticky on the on the side on the inside. Make sure I should have said this before when we were doing the outside, but make sure that your outside is actually your outside. What I mean by that is when you start when you start building your pouch, make sure you, you keep in mind where your zipper is. So your outside of the pouch is obviously where you can access your zipper pull. And the inside is where all the teeth are closed and you can't, you know, you won't be able to open it this way. So um, just keep in mind where your zipper is so you don't do your um, pouch inside out. So um, same thing here just want to cover up all the sticky overlapping by a quarter of an inch I like to just line up my tape with the bottom line of where the last piece of tape is so almost no measuring or watching where you put it just line it up with that bottom seam of where the tape is and there you go and smooth it down Once again, just line it up with that seam of that other tape. You're just making a fabric. You do not have to leave any excess on the bottom because we're going to be closing the bottom anyway with a separate piece of tape. So just line that up with the bottom and the sides. And there you go. That is your first completed side. So, the steps I just showed you, um, repeat that on this side. And I will either skip ahead or I will um, just fast forward through this part. Um, I will decide based on how long this video is. So, just three pieces of tape that are nine inches from here, three pieces of tape that are nine inches from your inside color, and overlap by a quarter of an inch.
All right, so now that you have both sides um, covered, just uh, make sure you don't have any air bubbles anywhere. And now you want to trim up your sides and your bottom if you need to. Um, that's not too critical though because you know it's going to be um, covered with tape but definitely the sides so um, you don't want to cut too much into the fabric on either side but a little bit of trimming is okay so you can either use your scissors for this or an exacto knife um, it depends on you know how easy it is for you to use one or the other um, I go back and forth depending on how much I have to cut so All right, now that you have that all trimmed up, your sides and maybe your bottom if you need to. Um, this is the end of the wall, um, wallet, end of the pouch, and it's it can get a little complicated. So the hardest part is getting these little ends up here to be sealed. So I have a little bit of scrap tape up here. Uh, the easiest way I found to do this is to do the sides first and then close up the bottom. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. What I like to do is I like to use a scrap piece of tape and I like to line up my bottom, the bottom of my pouch. Make sure your zipper is also straight. Okay. And then just secure this the bottom. Now, the side is about six inches, but you need a little bit extra to wrap around the top and maybe a little bit of extra to go on the bottom, depending on how you want to do it. But you definitely need some up here, about maybe a half an inch, no less than a half an inch. So now I have two strips of tape that are seven inches long. I'm gonna grab up this piece and it's about three quarters in to where your little end is. You don't want to, once again, you got to make sure that you keep that track clear. So it's about three quarters of an inch every time I make it. Um, it may be different for yours, but you just want to stay clear, stay below this little end piece. So mine isn't quite three quarters but it's close enough so um, you want more you want more tape on the top than on the bottom which I it's gonna look funky at first but that it's okay because we still got to close up the bottom so anything down here is gonna get covered up by the tape by that tape the, your most important thing right now is to seal this part up here so all right, once you get that down, you wanna carefully measure how much you need to cut off. So I need to cut off about a quarter of an inch to make the trim on this side match what I have on this side already. So I'm just going to cut off a quarter of an inch of tape. And this is why you need a bit extra so you can uh, have room for trimming as well. Now before you fold this over, cut out boxes just like you would for a uh, wallet. Make sure you get them as straight as you possibly can. Uh, like I said, down here it's not going to matter too much because we're going to cover that anyway, but up here you definitely want to get it as straight as possible. Alright. Now you want to fold in the, your side. I'm a little bit 
like I said, down here it's not going to matter too much, so I'm just going to cut this off. I have a little bit of sticky showing, but that's okay. Just fold that up. Now for this piece up here, you may have to, uh, you know, cut. As you can see, I'm a little bit over on here. I really don't know how that happened. So. I'm, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to line up where this tape is so you can, you can even fold this over and then very gently so you don't cut through your fabric of the zipper or the tape underneath very gently run your X-Acto knife down this side to trim this up and there you go um, if you have any fabric sticking out like I do here just take your exacto knife and very gently uh, cut that away and use an extra piece of tape to lift it up and there you go that is one side trimmed so there are my seams I'm going to flip it and do it this way which makes no sense but I will try Okay, so, yeah, I think this is going to work. So, wherever your seams are when you do it, when you do your first one, wherever your seams are, flip it over and start on that side. So, I place it on here. Then I'm going to flip this over so I can see the sticky side. And, um, though, before I, cut bo before I cut out my boxes, I'm going to measure. And I have about a quarter inch to cut off. So I'm going to cut off the quarter inch first. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to cut out boxes. both at the top and the bottom alright now I'm gonna fold this over I'm a little bit over on this side but that's alright I'm gonna do exactly what I did on the other side I'm gonna fold this trim over and fold this over so that everything is enclosed and then I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and find where I'm close and actually I may not be. I may just be that close where it doesn't matter. Yeah, it stops right there. I got really close. Let's see. Yeah, I got really close, but it works. I can open and close this and it stops right before the tape. So that's actually going to work. Alright. And both of the seams are on the same side. So this would be your front, quote unquote looks really nice you can't see any seams it's just a nice folded edge all right so we are going to now close up our bottom so now that this is all now that your sides are on you can remove your scrap tape from the bottom you can save it or give it uh, throw it away I'm going to save it because I've got five more of these to do, which I will be doing a time lapse of those five. All right.
So it's about 10 inches, or sorry, it's about 9 inches. It's a little bit shy because, you know, we have to, we had to trim the sides. So I'm going to go about 9.5 just to give myself some room here. All right. So once again, I want to fold over, you know, give a nice rounded edge. So if I'm doing this correctly. So I think I have to do seam side down. So go to your go to the front of your pouch. And since these are about three quarters of an inch, um, I'm going to try and match that on the bottom as well. So I'm going to go three quarters of an inch up. Okay. Rip it up. Carefully measure. It's about a quarter of an inch. It's almost always about a quarter of an inch. Sometimes it's a little bit more like a quarter of an inch and an eighth of an inch. But start at a quarter of an inch and then you can always trim more off if you need to. So there's a quarter of an inch. Then cut your boxes. Alright, then fold this up as tight as you can get it, and then fold over, and that's right, the seams are on the same side. I didn't cut this one completely straight as you can see, so it's not laying straight, but that is okay. I can take just a tiny bit off. And I got this corner. This corner does not want to work. There we go. All right. And that is a completed duct tape pouch. All right, everyone, that is the end of the tutorial. Here is our finished product. A dill with it <laughs> and green um, zippered pouch so here's the front of it you can see it's all nice no seams you turn it around to the quote unquote back side you can see some fold over seams but they're all on the same side it's very pretty and it runs free so here's the inside it's pretty deep. I mean, I could fit my whole hand in there. So, um, yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them in the comment section below. If this um, tutorial helped you, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.